Hey guys, thanks for joining the channel again today. My name is Storm and today we're going to actually try to get back out here and finish up what we started and get the pigs moved into their new area. So last time, you know, I kind of stopped because I, well, I was getting hot and tired. Um, and I said I'd going to try to find some help. Well, fortunately, I did get some help. My dad's going to come give us a hand getting the pigs moved, getting all those fences kind of reestablished. And of course, we'll have to do a little bit more bush hogging so that we can reset our fences. But before he gets here, uh, I actually want to take some time and show you guys some up and coming things in addition to some stuff that I've been doing. All right, first off is actually this little trailer. So I'd mentioned in the past that I was thinking about using my small trailer as kind of a, a farm trailer. And well, that trailer got stolen and so that never happened. But this one's actually my dad's and it's actually a little smaller and frankly probably even better suited uh, to the plan. So what we're going to actually do is get this thing fixed up and see about using it as a little farm trailer. Now, truthfully though, we do have one little issue that we got to solve and that is this outer bearing, um, the cap had come off the hub and so the outer bearing had gotten a lot of, well, junk in it. And because of that, it's chipped up the bearings. So we got a new set of bearings on the way. And I've, of course, I've got to get this cleaned up a little better. But once that's done, we're going to see how well we can put this behind the gator and or the four wheeler and use it as a, you know, a farm tool. Now, another thing I did recently is take down the garden finally. And uh, of course, there's more cleanup that needs to be done. But we got the fence out all the stakes and posts out we got the soaker hoses out which i'm going to tell you right now that was a nightmare because the grass had grown over them and created like a tunnel and so pulling those hoses out was terrible and a little update on our small compost pile i gotta get in here and clean this up because i've let it overgrow and it's terrible but it's actually been breaking down pretty well and while i haven't been measuring the heat um i do come out here every once in a while and turn it and since our mornings are getting cooler, I can tell there's definitely some heat buildup because it steams as I turn it. So that's a win. Now, another thing I'm actually wanting to do is what's left of these carrots. I'm wanting to pull them out and feed them to the pigs um, because they've gone a little bit too long and most of them have gotten very tough, but the pigs will still enjoy them. But the reason I haven't done that yet is because of that guy. So I've got a really pretty garden spider in here and well, I just hate to take its nesting area away. But maybe I can get some of these out without bothering them. And we lost one of our strawberry plants because these gigantic marigolds fell over on top of it and kind of choked it out. Now, something I've actually been meaning to do is collect uh, some of the walnuts and things that have been falling around the property and feed those to the pigs. So, in addition to the carrots, we're going to collect some of these walnuts and take them down to the pigs. All right, well, collected about two thirds of a bucket full. And that's without even having to get into the kind of overgrowth area, which I don't really feel like doing. But look, pretty good load either way. We're gonna head up here and see if we can't dig around and get a few carrots. I was afraid of that. We got some in there one of the things that uh that we did not do very good this year is plan for the next step if you will um, we did good at planning uh what we were going to do but it did not do a very good job of planning how i was going to manage it and so because of that we had a lot of stuff that 
hasn't really panned out the way we had hoped. Now I don't consider all that a failure though. Because I've learned a lot from those mistakes. And we'll probably have to come back with a little, little trowel later and dig these out. Because most of them aren't wanting to pull anymore. They've, they've really and truly been in the ground too long. Not that they're innately bad because of that, but it's just caused the tops to dry off. Makes it harder to dig them out. You guys ready for some new grass? Very enthusiastic. Yeah. Come on. All right. Henry! Hey, big. Hey, big. Hey, big. Come on. Hey, big. Hurting 
pigs. And that's how you heard pigs. I think that went pretty well. Yeah, it did. Take the time Sorry. training them. The fence is hot. Hey, this. Yeah. Like I run that other one. Ain't you? I know, but just uh, make sure because sometimes they'll want to immediately start to roam again, and that usually helps. Uh, that one. Wait a minute. How did he get out? Did he get out, or did we forget one? Oh, we did forget one. Um, that fence is hot. What up, pig? What up, pig? Give me a second, my dude. We did, we forgot one. Yes, we, we counted five we counted because... Five, which I'm used to, but <laughs> Alright, so we're down here. We're going to try to move Molly and the piglets. Give them some fresh new area. But we uh, pit stopped because we had another piglet that needed to be castrated. And uh, for what it's worth, that never gets more fun or easier. Uh, in order to move the piglets... We gotta pick up all those fence posts and the wire so that we can uh, bush hog a new, new fence row for them. What was that? Molly, you ate up all the carrots, didn't you? Piglets didn't get nothing. That's you real. The chickens will eat the smokeweed. They nasty to the way to get them out of here. All right, well, we've run out of daylight, but we got the piglets moved and mama moved. So we're going to wrap it up here, even though I've still got evening chores to do and I've got to get their water in, but it's getting too dark to film. So if you stuck around this long, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good day.